I have to say that this is one of the more expensive places to go for coffee in a roll. Uh, it's three dollars and fifty cents, <laughs> where I can get a coffee and a donut for a buck and a quarter. But um, I want to say today is Thanksgiving, and um, I'm really happy and content. And something that most of you could relate to, I would say, I'm here and you're not. Why not? Morning walk, other direction. Nice places here. It's a block from my building. Building on the right there is a place I almost took an apartment in. That's the way we walked yesterday. And this is the way we're going to go today. We're going to swim upstream. Some of the health insurance programs. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. And the reason they're all up and down the street is because we're right near the hospital. A ton of healthcare workers live or work and walk around and have lunch in this neighborhood. That girl up there in the blue dress in the backpack, it's funny, it's like every guy that walks by her does a head stop and a head turn. This is a pretty happening place. Across the street there we've got La Fogata. And I've taken you there for dinner a couple times, I believe. And uh, over here, we've got another restaurant and a couple bars. Quite busy here at night. It's a nice looking front to the tower apartment building. We're almost to the mall, Portal Candillo. This is a really nice area. Uh, of course, it's just a few blocks from where I am. But between where I live and where the mall is, a lot of very interesting things, very upscale. And a lot of apartment buildings right next to the mall with uh, big green areas. Good place for somebody to, uh, to live. Very safe, very convenient, very inexpensive. 
Okay, here is a hospital, and uh, obviously major bus stop. And you've got a you can walk down and go under the street and come up on the other side. It's one of the many, many, many fruit stands. Very popular to get your fruit fix. Coffee and fruit and empanadas. Stigo Une. Um, they're a major cell phone and internet company. Pretty good to work with, very helpful, good customer service. In Armenia, they don't have uh, fiber optic, but they've got strong broadband. So here's something familiar. And then over here, it's a large dealership. For many, not so familiar. They used to be in the U.S. In the north, in the northeast in particular, the bodies rotted out overnight. Um, today they're a pretty good car. They've been popular in Colombia for many, many years. It was one of the first car companies, Peugeot, Renault, to set up shop in Colombia when other car companies couldn't be bothered. And to this day, they have an extremely loyal following. Okay, we're coming up on uh, Puerto El Candillo, the mall. And these are some of those high-rise apartment buildings I was referring to. Welcome to Puerto El Candillo. Down that side, you've got uh, oh, bus. a big, big Olympica, but also down that street, that uh, two lane with a median in the middle and trees. Down there are a lot of apartment buildings with a lot of green spaces. So come check it out. Review another angle. Right around that bend uh, is where a lot of green spaces open up. The downside of these places uh, is pretty much the downside of all newer apartments. They're quite small. If you check out the Colombian playlist, some past videos, I've done some videos here if you want more detail. So it's about 9 o'clock and I want a morning coffee. So it could be Juan Valdez. Excellent coffee. And good cinnamon rolls. But I think I'll choose Cafe Candillo. I think the best coffee in the triangle. So here I am with my mochaccino and I've got a cinnamon roll. Now it looks kind of tight and hard, right? But in actuality, it's warm and soft. Very delicious. They just have this thing about it looking perfection, where we like them big and blobby and running outside the pan. Cafe Candio, mi favorito. Very flaky. One thing about coffee that's really good, you don't mind when it's extra strong, and it's um, without sugar, which normally I would hate, but their coffee is so delicious, um, I don't ever bother putting any in it. I have to say that this is one of the more expensive places to go for coffee in a roll. Uh, it's three dollars and fifty cents <laughs> where I can get a coffee and a donut for a buck and a quarter but um, I want to say today is Thanksgiving and um, I'm really happy and content and something that most of you could relate to I would say 
I'm here and you're not, why not? Back outside the mall. This is across the street. Down there is a Texas Burger where we had lunch before. And down there is an outside cafe, also in a video. I'm going down that street to the left to a supermercado. Another popular spot in the evening. This is Lorales Supermercado. It's got a little import corner here. Oh, Nutella. Sandy would be happy. Lots of local coffee brands, including my favorite. Supermercado Lorales. I had never been. It's very nice. A lot of imported things. Reasonable prices. Um, a lot of stuff that I buy every week. So it's pretty convenient. Look, a shawarma restaurant. I swear shawarma's taken over the world. I blame it all on the Avengers. You think there might be lawsuits in the works? I'm here in one of the outlying barrios in Armenia, here to look at some furniture. But uh, up there in this little park area, there looks like they're having a birthday party. There's some music going on, some clapping. Sweet. Moving in the furniture, finally. Tired of living on my bed. Well, I got my furniture in the living room tonight. Very happy.